Hey, this is Kim Pinkney and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and um, add detail to um, the shirt now. Uh, what I did while I was riding the bus was uh, added red to the bullets in like this halo effect um, around John here. And I, I pumped up the saturation a bit so you could see some of the detail in his face. Like there's um, like different degrees of purples and reds and things like that that are in his face that just does not come across if you're not you know not like right up on it or rather uh, have a better <laughs> a better video set up than I do um, you know it's really subtle and I'm hesitant to make it darker uh, but one of the downsides to not making it darker is that it may wash out over time or you know kind of dull up a bit over time so that's like that's one of the downsides to uh to this um you know being subtle um the darker the image like these these uh bullets will be a long time in fading because they've they're they're pretty much layered So basically his suit is kind of like um, black and gray and I wanted to see how far these markers would go. Uh, they're pretty big. Uh, they're brush tip markers from Tulip and uh, I just wanted to see how far they'd go uh, because I am really hesitant to put uh, fabric paint on it and uh, with fabric paint it, it gives a it has texture and it also uh, is raised so it, it, it'll feel a lot heavier on your chest um, kind of like one of those um, uh, decal type type of uh, t-shirt prints like how you can feel it on your shirt whereas this is just coloring the shirt it's like going into the fabric itself it's not sitting on top of the fabric it's actually going into the fibers um, there's a difference <laughs> there's definitely a difference um, if you are into doing um, hey tatted hearts <laughs> yeah yeah so they are bloody <laughs> it also kind of sets off his face uh, you know a little bit more gives a little something and it kind of gives him like this uh, deity type of thing as well it's a dark deity so what I'm doing is I'm going over small areas at a time and then I'm just going to uh, use my hair dryer and dry it a little faster than usual and if I don't like the effect, I'll end up going back over it with, um, with paint. Now to keep it kind of interesting, I'm going to be adding uh, different tones into the jacket and in his outfit. I'll be adding like some blues, some purples, like I'll probably add a little bit more purple on this side and a little less, uh, little less blue on the other. And the more color I throw on it, the longer it'll last. Now 
Now with these, they're not coming out all wet and juicy. So I'm not so much worried about it bleeding into other areas. Okay, there may be some times when I'm going to swap over to uh, just the music. Um, that way you don't have to hear the hair dryer. And then uh, when I do white, I usually use like a little bit of blue, um, just a little bit of blue. Let me see. I'm going to use some a little bit more gray before I uh, hair dry it and then shift it around. Now if I'm going to paint it, I'll, I'll take it out of the hoop and I would use a box instead. and. Instead of having, um, I don't have a very big box to use on this, so I would end up using um, something that's, that's going to be able to keep one end from touching the other. You don't want it to like, you know, end up on the other side of your shirt. Okay, so let me add another color. <clears throat> Let's see, we'll add purple on this side. And these are the beasts that I'm using here. And uh, to really get into the fibers, I might end up using just a little bit of the fabric paint, but very lightly. And I do have some glow-in-the-dark paints, so I could also, if I felt froggy, I could add that as well. And I'm just going to kind of layer the purple on here. Now if I stick with um, the markers, I'm not going to use too much purple on this side. If I stick with the markers, I can ride on the bus with it, you know, relatively easy. I tried painting on the bus one time and it was kind of frustrating because I didn't have any place to lay down my, um, my paintbrush. Throw a little bit of blue in here too, just to kind of keep that those different colors going on and for giggles I might even toss a little bit of red on his shoulders to reflect um, just to reflect the bullets a bit and maybe a little in his hair just around the edges And I like how they're like sitting on top of each other. It's not blending and it's pretty thick. Just kind of have it all just kind of be a light behind him. Oh, I really like how this red is reflecting here. Okay. All right, I'm going to switch over so you won't hear my voice. Hey, Julie. Yeah, I've been back for a, a little bit. My, I had to wait for my son to leave. He's coming back in another two weeks. So, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. As we always say, sharing is caring, mom. Throw a little bit more purple in here. I don't want to put too much in here. Because some of it looks like, um, what is it called? A, a bruise. But I want his hair to kind of, uh, you know, still have that highlight here. Just throwing a little bit of color in there. Yeah, a lot of the light is coming from this direction and down. So I want to kind of keep this a little bit lighter, a little bit more purple on this side. Get it nice and saturated here. Yeah, this might end up being painted because I don't I don't see these things lasting all this time. Okay, let me shift over. To All right, so now I'm going to move this down a bit. We'll see how it goes. We'll slide it over this way. Yeah, if my black doesn't hold out, I'll definitely uh, just switch to the, the paint. All right, hang in there, black. To get a little darker, I uh, hover over the same spot for a little bit, a little bit longer, and just make sure that um, all of the uh, the jacket is covered, all the shirt is covered, so you don't see any white spots. Because uh, nothing screams ugly than seeing like a whole bunch of this, and you see nothing but white spots and stuff, and it's could be avoided by just going a little bit slower or hanging out in that area just a little longer. got the patience, um, little circles uh, work really well. Mm 
but to uh, save my wrist, um, I turned the uh, image and uh, I changed it up between uh, circles and long strokes. Where places overlap, I go back over them a little bit. I believe these were about ten dollars. Yeah, and I can already see it kind of giving out on me. It's just coming out really dry. And this is one of the things that I ran into when I was uh, Drawing the, uh, there's an anime shirt that I was doing, uh, Black Butler, I think that's what it was called. Um, I had to do the entire back of a shirt, and uh, I had gone through a lot of uh, Sharpie, uh, stained by Sharpie markers. You could actually see the fluids inside the, sh uh, the stain by Sharpie uh, marker. It's really sad. I think I went through about five of uh, five of the blues until I, I finally switched over to paints. And yeah, I think I'm going to end up switching to paints. So yeah, let me just go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'm. I'm this is like frustrating. Black is going bye-bye. It's hanging in there, but it's more gray than black. Well, maybe this is the gray. Let's see. This is green. Mm. I don't know what color this is. I can't tell from the back here. Let's see. Okay, this is black, definitely. Okay, let's see. Let the black take over where the gray kind of left, left off. Which is fine. Oh, no, not yet. Um, I did find out that my post office is going to be open until 6, so I'm going to make an effort to make it out there today. I'm going to try. Uh, weather permitting, it's supposed to rain today. Um, like a 60% chance. So it's like, no. And I didn't have it with me yesterday. Or else I could have done it yesterday. Ugh. I was like, man. And then I kept telling myself, I'm going to do a Saturday. I'm going to do a Saturday. And like, But it's only open until noon on Saturday and the buses run like crap. Once an hour. But I have your guys' address, so um, that's another thing I needed to grab one more time. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get that done. I'll message you guys the um, the tracking number when I can get it. It'll only track it up to uh, it leaves until it leaves the United States, and then after that, <laughs> uh, we're on our own. Okay, let's 
see if we can get these guys to blend a bit. Just going to overlap the black with the gray and just kind of tease it upwards and downwards and whatnot. So it doesn't have that that this uh, jagged look. Let's see if we can get this a little here. I don't mind the jacket having a bit of texture to it. Um, It doesn't have to be completely uniform. Okay, I'm getting frustrated with this. All right, let's whip out the colors. All right, so I'm gonna use, let's see, my Artezas here. I have a metallic black and I need something to squeeze it out on. I'll use the back of this. Put these guys away. We'll save you guys for another time smaller areas yeah over, it, it's sometimes these uh, the markers they dry out while you're using them you know just because of air and whatnot all right let's see I'm gonna try to put it on pretty lightly I want to get that raised feel. Uh, yes, yes, um, I have it, so I'll go ahead and uh, I, I uh, have my stuff with me. I'm going to take that with me. It's the, the place opens at 8, but I'm going to be at work by 8.30, so it's got to be after work. This paint is pretty thick, so like when I'm throwing it down, it gives me these little gobs of uh, paint instead of like it being nice and smooth. And it could be just a color. I think I'm going to mix it up with another watery color so I can get more of a smooth coat here. Don't want to wear this stuff. Uh, not yet, at least. Let's see, I know I've got a black paint around here. Oh, I'm gonna use a little bit of this medium. 
We need to lessen it a bit. Mix that up a bit. And that gives it a, a water, more watery texture. Okay, let's see. There we go. A lot more easier to work with. Yeah, this stuff was it. Uh, if I if I make a little design on plastic, it'll become like a window cling. Ugh, I meant to switch this over to a box. Let's see. Oh, right now I'm using a little bit of a lid. Pretty much anything that has a back to it and um, an opening in the at the top will work really well. That way it's not touching the back of the, uh, the shirt and it's not touching uh, the lid at all. area right up in here and I'll probably throw like a little bit of blue on there Okay, that stuff was putting me to sleep. Okay. It's, it's, I guess they're not my, they're not that bad for my first attempt at, um, trying to do, well, second attempt. Um, I've learned a lot doing those, your guys' shirt. Um, like I said, with the lettering, um, I'll definitely, like, put it on a sign, something that makes it easier to cut out. I was thinking about investing in one of those cricket type of things, um, but uh, I've heard some different stories about them. Like, uh, like say you have your own original design that you want to cut out. Um, you have to pay for a license or something like that to use your own stuff. It, it, it's I, I'm trying to find out more information. But that would be a, a deal breaker for me. I'm like, look, I, I like to have my own. You know, I want to use my own artwork. I want to cut out my own stuff. Don't want 
lose the tension. There we go. some of the stuff together yeah I hope you guys enjoy the shirts um, switch over to um, just the music so you guys don't have to hear this hair dryer. I hate how, I don't know, I want it to blend more but the paint doesn't want to agree with me but that's okay. I do kind of like the texture and it's kind of got a gloss to it like it's kind of shiny. This is a uh, lamp black is that what it's called? Metallic black, that's why. Okay. I slide this over.
All right, so um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just sliding it over. And then, um, let's see, I'll slide it over a little more. Mixing it with a little bit of t-shirt medium. Yeah, this stuff is, um, it takes acrylic paint and uh, makes it so that it'll stay on a shirt a lot better. But I just need it to kind of give this more of a waterier, more watery, thinner texture here. There we go instead of giving me like these little spots of black that it was doing earlier. Yeah, I think the next shirt I'll do is, um, I'll do like the uh, Bat Boy. Uh, yesterday uh, I was talking with uh, Tatted Hearts and Tatted Hearts came up with an idea of like, uh, I forget the whole thing, but I know there's a, there was a cow involved, uh, there was a bat involved, and I think it was a cat with bat wings. I can't remember exactly the whole spiel. Riding on a cow, I think. Uh, sounds like a crazy dream. Speaking of dreams, <laughs> I had one uh, that was like the tail end of my dream where I was riding on a big wheel into the sunset and the sky was lit up in these like psychedelic colors. And I'm like, huh. That kind of reminds me of that... Um, that one uh, graffiti artist, um, God, what was his name, Banksy? It's like a Banksy type of thing. <laughs> uh, like I remember seeing this little girl on a swing and they were selling prints of that. And I'm like, huh. But yeah, by idea of riding on a big wheel, going into the sunset, littered with like you know just spattered with psychedelic colors and paisleys and craziness like that and then I woke up you know it's like yeah you know my world is not as colorful it's one of the few times I remember dreaming in color But I like the idea with the bat wings, so I did draw one um, anim not anime guy, manhwa guy. Um, what is his name? Oh, I forgot his name. He's so pretty. Um, it's one of my Crayola pictures where I drew him with uh, black bat wings. And uh, I wouldn't mind doing another guy with... Um, Kind of looks like the Final Fantasy guy, uh, Final Fantasy 15 guy, uh, Noctis, with bat wings. Oh, fell in love with Noctis all over again. I was watching a documentary on uh, Final Fantasy 15. This guy was picking it apart, and uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, a YouTuber was picking it apart. And they showed these gorgeous pictures of Noctis, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Noctis is so pretty. Until they, they age him up, and I'm like, oh gosh, what happened? I don't know. It was a fun little adventure, and then it all of a sudden it turned really super dark. You know, it was inevitable. It, 
was a boys night out type of thing or boys vacation road trip and then all of a sudden it just all everything just went to shit and I, I like the the uh, the idea of you know bros hanging out having fun killing monsters hitting truck stops and hitting on women and just having fun you know just at least that's what what sold me on it initially and then <laughs> oh gosh all hell breaking loose I guess that was bound to happen it couldn't be just all fun and and roses but yeah um, Noctis's design is freaking gorgeous gorgeous face I liked his hair I think that's I think it's the hair the hair got me I was watching that um, other guy uh, that you were telling me about um, invasion um, tatted hearts um, he'd be interesting uh, with some bat wings I can do him with bat wings. I don't think anybody else has put bat wings on him. And Inktober is coming up again. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do Inktober on another shirt. Or um, do different t-shirt designs. Based on their words. Their daily words. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what would work best for me when I'm riding the bus so I can get stuff accomplished. Yeah, because I was too tired to get on um, the computer and start drawing. But I did do some more work on some of the other drawings that I've been working on. Um, making progress on those and on this. I've added to the gun blade. Oh, look at this. We're almost done with the jacket. I thought it was going to be pure and utter hell. I can feel how heavy the shirt is, but it's just wet. down here okay so I'm gonna oh, let me use the last of this down here Let's see about his waist is about down here less control okay I need to dry this part up at the top here okay
Alright, okay, so this is the last part of this. We'll have this be his jacket. thinking about putting uh what is it called um something about the continental oops let me see yeah i think that's okay uh yeah something about the continental um hotel that uh the assassins like to stay at on the gunblade I'm thinking about putting something like uh, Property of the Continental, Compliments of the Continental or something like that. Make it like a loner gun or something like that. Let's put a little bit of shadow right here for Daisy. Daisy's paw. Let's try to get to this very edge here. Too lazy to go and grab another brush. Uh, bad Kim, naughty. Uh, don't want to get that in there. I want to put a little design on his tie, but I'm not sure what I want to put on there. at the last of this. Let's 
some of this looks really good. All right. We'll just use it in the same spot here. Drag it upwards. darkness here. Got a little a little dry brush action happening. There we go. Let's see. We've got shadow there. We'll put a little bit of shadow here. And okay, so we'll go ahead and air dry this. All right, so do 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 do. So there's the gun blade. I could use a little bit of this in this nick of the woods here before it dries completely. Just a little bit of shadows. Okay. Not too bad. Okay, so now it's just the gun blade and his hands. A little bit of his shirt. I'm gonna throw a little bit of blue on his shirt. We are so getting there. All right. We'll use some of this. Do, 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 do. We'll have it gather in certain spots. We'll switch back to the hoop. Yeah, so basically what I used was this right here. Um, what it'll do is when you slip it in, this protects the other side of the shirt. And uh, I have a bit of a lip here, so I just like tighten it. So when I iron, when I iron it, when I paint over it, um, none of the paint is supposed to be touching this part. I didn't have a really good grip. Um, so you have all the paint staying on the shirt instead of like uh, pressed against something that's behind it. Um, and then I just, you know, blue dry, blue dry it. Ugh, use the blue, the blue dryer, the blow dryer. And, uh, handle that okay so this is what i had done on the baba yaga uh gun blade part but i want to do 
something a little bit more, make it really look like a sword. Um, so I'm going to end up looking up swords and see if I can uh, utilize those tones. So I'll start from this end and work my way this way. When you get really close to the bottom of the shirt, especially if you're doing like a big shirt like I'm doing, it's kind of hard to kind of, you know, because you got the bitter end right here. Let's see. Tighten it up. Yeah, it's the angle. And I want to try to get this more centered. So you don't have any tension down here. Yeah, I'm not so worried about distortion since it's just going to be colored. Come on, you. There we go. Okay, and I'm not so much worried about it pulling, you know, like when I pull it, uh, uh, pretty much because once it is, once the tension is off of it, it'll go back to its normal, uh, its normal self here. Mm, okay. So the handle, I'm wondering, what should I put on? Oh, I could put his initials on there, like JW. Let's see. I could put, let's see. They usually have, let's see, John Wick. Continental Hotel Coin. Okay, so the Continental has a, a little image, and I'm thinking about putting it somewhere on. Ooh, I could put it right here. Okay, so I'll put that image there. Um, I'm going to color the gun blade really quick. Um, let's see. All right, so this is like a black and gray type of uh, item here. And for that, we shall come back to that and that. We'll see how they work for us. Um, it's going to be silver about like right here or gray. Let's see what colors this one. Can't tell which is which. Okay, I'm assuming this is going to be the gray. You know what they say about when you assume. Huh, huh, huh. Okay. I think I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this blue here. And probably some white, can't hurt. Let's see. Uh oh. 
Here we go. Come on. If white does not want to obey, I can always throw a little bit of the other white in here. Fine. Anybody got time for that? Alright, come on you. you. Told me this is new. Squeeze a little bit out on Let's do some black. his uh, bandages.
Lucy for his skin. I was using, let's see, can I get away with, what did I use here? I think I used a little bit of red. Okay, let's see. This is like raspberry. Let's see. I think I want some of these to be blood soaked and kind of brownish. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to use a little bit of white. Right here. Blow dry it a little bit. Okay, so it's almost time for me to go. And then I think tomorrow we'll be finishing this up. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna grab the continental coin. Let's see, it looks like it's got two sides. I can't read the other. Shoot, let me see. It's got a little bit of a lion. Let me see, copy the image. So I've got five minutes left. Oh, 
while I still have some white paint out, I'm going to do like a little halo. Little puppy halo for Daisy. Uh, I'm trying to think, do I want to do paw prints? Usually when I do uh, doggy portraits uh, for people, if their doggy or kitty cat has passed away and they wanted me to draw a portrait for, of their dog or cat or whatever, I would do uh, little paw prints to heaven um, or like when I'm doing their, like where they're fading, you know, like I'm fading it downwards. Um, I would uh, have the paw prints leading off. You know, people take their pets very seriously. I don't prefer to do uh, pet pictures so much uh, because people take really crappy pictures of their pets. I've come across a few people who uh, really had some really good shots of their pets, but others is like, oh gosh, this is like a black cat. You're having me draw a black cat. This is a black cat with on a black background. Well, not a black background, but it's hard to show detail of a black cat especially if the picture's crappy oh. well it's time to go you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me and listening to me greet about drawing black cats <laughs> yeah the best that you can do is like do shades of gray <laughs> and hope for the best it's like is this your cat <laughs> and just hope all right well i'll see you guys tomorrow and we should be finishing this up if i don't finish it up on the bus i probably won't because i'm gonna let it like kind of dry while it's at home and then i'll play with something else in the meantime i have some bags that i want to draw on and i think drawing a little guy with bat wings would be pretty freaking awesome on there all right so i shall see you guys on the morrow thanks again and uh, take it easy. Bye-bye.